uh, quite a milestone because uh, then uh, in that time, Spacewalk could run or only with Oracle database. So in fact, uh, uh, Spacewalk wasn't truly open source. Uh, so in 2012, uh, before I joined the team, actually, uh, the team released uh, Spacewalk 1.7 with PostgreSQL support. And from that time, uh, you can actually choose uh, whether you want uh, Spacewalk to be run with, space, uh, with Oracle or PostgreSQL database backend. And as for the recent events, uh, in October 2015, uh, we've released a last stable version of Spacewalk, which is uh, version 2.4. Uh, there are a couple of related projects uh, to Spacewalk. Uh, yeah. uh, we've already talked about Satellite 5, which Spacewalk is upstream of. Uh, but other than that, uh, SUSE uh, are actually using Spacewalk as also as upstream for uh, their SUSE manager. And uh, Oracle is actually rebuilding uh, Spacewalk uh, on Oracle Enterprise Linux uh, and claiming they do support it. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a good question. Why should I use Spacewalk? Uh, it's quite an old project, but uh, it doesn't, match, doesn't say that it's somehow outdated or old. It on, but actually, it says a lot of years of development has been done on Spacewalk, actually seven years, uh, and I'm not including the development which was done uh, on a Red Dead satellite before uh, uh, Spacewalk was uh, created. Yeah, In, because of that continuous years of development, uh, Spacewalk is quite stable. And actually has quite large community as a lot of people actually are using it. And uh, the mailing list uh, rela related to Spacewalk project is quite busy. Yeah. So in actually installation of Spacewalk is very simple. You just set up some repositories uh, and then two, two yum commands and one command in command line. And that, that's all you need to do to install Spacewalk. Uh, of course, uh, you can, uh, the, the free, free command installation is for the embedded PostgreSQL database. Uh, if you want some, let's say, external PostgreSQL or external Oracle database, uh, then the installation is a bit complicated, especially if you are using Oracle. Yes. Yeah, you know, Oracle. Uh, now I will actually begin talking about uh, what, is, what Spacewalk does and how it guides machines through the whole life cycle of the machines. Yeah, you, you see that it all begins either with provisioning or registration of already provisioned machine to Spacewalk. Uh, then uh, you administer your machine with uh, Spacewalk and in case you don't need the machine no more or you don't like it for whatever reason, you can reprovision it and start the life cycle once again. Okay. We're, uh, in case you are provisioning, uh, the provisioning in Spacewalk is handled by Cobbler. Uh, which allows spacewalks to be operational in pixie environments. Uh, other than that, uh, of course, uh, re installation of already installed machine is, machines is possible. And for the complicated environments where pixie boot is not possible, uh, we, have, we provide uh, support of Cobbler built ISO, uh, which is actually... Uh, you boot some small ISO uh, in, into your machine and 
it will provide uh, the basic uh, network information for Pixie. Okay. Uh, then after you either provision your machines or uh, you have already installed machines, uh, the first step to actually uh, of uh, how to administer the machines in Spacewalk is uh, registration. Uh, this is done by command rhnrec underscore ks, uh, which is part of the uh, of the RHN setup package, which uh, for uh, rel uh, distributions uh, is already in the base distribution. Uh, for Fedora, uh, it's in Fedora repositories. And after you uh, provision, uh, regist register your machines, uh, there's a client record uh, in stored on, on the machine, which uh, stores some basic information about uh, about the spacewalk server you are re registered so let's see uh, I've already registered my my client uh, is this font okay is, do, uh, the, the machine is already uh, registered uh, here's the command I've used. Uh, yeah, all I did I specified some server URL uh, and some uh, activation key. You you can either act, uh, register to Spacewalk using uh, your Spacewalk credentials like yeah, admin slash my secret password or use activation key, uh, which in fact allows you to customize the installation. And during uh, install during yeah custom is registration not installation I'm sorry uh, and uh, during the registration you can already start <coughs> customizing your machines uh, I've I will show you I've already created some uh, activation key uh, here's the one default. Uh, this, this one actually is quite, quite simple. It just uh, registers the uh, client to, to Spacewalk, but here uh, I have uh, one which will, uh, for example, install uh, Z shell uh, during the time of a registration of the client machine into Spacewalk. Also, you, you can either, you can, in the activation keys, you can specify what channels uh, should the uh, machine be subscribed after registration. Uh, for those you are not familiar with the uh, concept of software channels, uh, I will explain uh, software channels are basically uh, repositories uh, which are accessed uh, by with a uh, YAM RHN plugin and these repositories can have uh, like or channels can have uh, child, child channels so you, you can actually specify uh, for example Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 6, and yeah, this one is base channel, and this one are some additions you, you, could, you can subscribe in addition to a base channel. Yeah, and I'll show you. <coughs> Okay, I don't have him, so let's use VI instead. Yeah, the system ID file is uh, just some XML file saying that you are 
registered to some yeah some server yeah uh, let's say uh, you have already registered your server uh, to spacewalk uh, what's the common usage of spacewalk uh, the most important part is yeah, like package actions. You can either install, remove, verify packages on your machines. Uh, and I mean on, on a lot of machines. Uh, with few clicks in, in your browser, you can schedule installation of packages on thousands of systems. Uh, you can also run some arbitrary scripts uh, on your client machines, and uh, you can also use Spacewalk for deployment of configuration files. So uh, let's say uh, you want your machines to be uh, HTTPD servers configured in some way. You can use Spacewalk to deploy your HTTPD conf on your machines. So uh, I will show... Uh, some of these. Okay, I have a client already registered client machines to spacewalk. So, yeah. Here you see that I have some uh, upgrades available, which which I should probably update, uh, install. So. You are also so you ha you have also some basic health check of your administered systems that uh, so you can see whether they are up to date or not. So let's see. I want to install some package. Okay, I I'm at client, and I want to install that shell package. Uh, RPM minus Q, probably all of you know, queries the RPM the database whether uh, about the package. Uh, so uh, that shell package is not installed. Okay, now I'm scheduling package installation. Uh, so what happened? Uh, on Spacewalk, uh, I've created a record that, I see I've, Okay, I've I've actually uh, what I did. I've actually scheduled uh, installation of three thousand packages of instead of ones one. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's do it again. Confirm. Uh, it says one package install has been in scheduled for client. Here I can see that uh, I have scheduled package installation. So what happens? Uh, on Spacewalk, there's an action created for the client, uh, which is then picked up by uh, something I will tell in few moments on client. That, that thing is called RH and check. Uh, it's simple uh, command uh, which just fetches the actions from Spacewalk server 
uh, and if there are any actions scheduled for, for the client, uh, it executes them. The, the actions can be, yeah, as I said, packet, package installation, errata in, installation, uh, remote command, what, whatever. Uh, to actually pick up the, the actions, uh, we have a daemon called RHNSD running on the clients, uh, which every four hours by, by default uh, calls RHN check, uh, which then fetches the actions. Of course, we, we can run RHN check by, by ourselves. This, this is what I will do. Now it fetches the, the RPM and installs it. As, and you, you can see that uh, I have installed package Z shell. But in case uh, you don't want to, for any particular reason, wait up to four hours uh, the, for your uh, scheduled actions, uh, we have a daemon called OSET, Open Source Architecture Daemon, uh, which uh, relies on XMPP protocol uh, and runs on both uh, server and client. Actually, on server, it's called OSA Dispatcher, and on client, it's OSET, uh, which uses Jeopardy uh, for, to, for communication to be instant. Uh, I can show you. Actually, now I don't have OSET installed, so let's again use Spacewalk to install some packages. Okay, yeah. I can see that uh, I don't have OSET uh, available for, for the client. That's because uh, it's available from the child channel of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux server 6 uh, called RHN Tools. So let's subscribe my, my client to another channel and give him another few packages uh, which can be installed on the, on the server. Actually, you can use uh, child channels for things like, uh, let's say you have CentOS 6 and you are developing some application uh, which goes through uh, dev, dev environment, QA environment, and production environment. So you can either uh, use channel cloning, or, or you can just uh, subscribe to your uh, CentOS uh, 6 clients to uh, CentOS base channel, and then create a child channel for each of the version package ver or environments uh, you have, and just by switching the uh, child channels, you can uh, alter the uh, position of the client in, in the, your environment. So now I, sh I should be able to install OSET. Now, because I still don't have OSET, I, I need to run RH and check manually. Okay. OK. 
okay, I'm sorry, I haven't, I need also Okay, what did I do? Uh, I have I had not imported my CAE uh, certificate uh, to my client, uh, and OSET runs through SSL, so it was not able to connect. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, there is bad name in the in the in the up to date conf. Uh, I Okay, I've managed to start OSET. Uh, I also need to check if uh, OSET dispatcher is running on my spacewalk server. So now when I I do the exact same thing like I did with uh, Z shell on the other client where uh, I had to run a RHN check uh, manually. Now that this one should be picked up in, in a minute or two and installed. So I will continue with my presentation for a few minutes and then we'll check back uh, whether the OSET is, in, whether the Z shell package is installed. Yeah. Uh, I've already spoke about this. Uh, yeah, there, there are two main packages uh, that are installed on clients. Uh, one is uh, a region setup uh, package, the other is uh, a region client tools. Also, the uh, there's a uh, uh, region SD, the, the thing which uh, calls a region check uh, every four hours by default. And to be able to access the software channels, uh, we use a YAM plugin called YAM Arichan plugin, uh, and in case you are using uh, newest Fedoras, uh, we have a DNF plugin Spacewalk. So actually, you are able to use a Spacewalk with latest Fedoras. Uh, let's go for managed content. Yeah, uh, I've already touched this. Uh, the managed content in Spacewalk is yeah, RPM, errata, and configuration files. Okay, still not installed, so. Okay. Uh, the RPMs usually live in the software channels. Uh, we have concept of the base and child channels. Uh, as you saw here in the CentOS, and this this one is base. The the CentOS and Drill channels are the base ones, 
and these are child channels which you can freely, uh, which are optional to be subscribed or not. So, so you can extend the or reduce the package set which can be accessed by the clients. Uh, as I've already told on client, uh, the software channels are accessed uh, by R YAM RHN plugin or DNF plugin Spacewalk or in case of SUSE clients uh, by Zipper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, on com community mailing list, we are quite often uh, receiving uh, request for Debian support. So if you like Debian uh, and if you if I got you interested in Spacewalk, patches are welcome. Uh, so the quest now uh, we know what channels are but how do I get RPMs into my software channels? Uh, there are three possibilities. Uh, one is satellite sync, uh, which is thing we use for importing content from uh, either RHN hosted or uh, other spacewalks. So you, you can set up uh, multiple spacewalk instances and sync content between them. Or uh, if you have satellite 5 certificate file, uh, you can use it in, for uh, up for getting co content out of RHN hosted, but in case you have satellite five certificate, you should be using satellite five because you otherwise you've paid just for the certificate and you won't get support. Uh, the other option is uh, spacewalk repo sync, uh, which actually what it does it just syncs some publicly available repo or uh, repo available to Spacewalk uh, and imports it into Spacewalk into given channel. I can show you uh, here on the, on the CentOS channels. Uh, yeah, I've created CentOS uh, six channels in 64-bit uh, variant and uh, every one of these uh, CentOS channels have uh, a repo associated uh, behind them. Yeah. I have some uh, defined rep repositories. I will show. Okay, just... Uh, some repository label. Yeah, we, we are comfortable with working with uh, mirrors, so uh, you don't have to spec specify it, uh, you, URL, or you, you can also specify mirror. And actually, I can show you that, okay, let's say the CentOS add-ons, I have no packages in that channel, but I have uh, a repository uh, assigned to that channel. So anytime I can just press, press sync now or uh, let Spacewalk sync it on some uh, regular basis. So let's sync it now. Okay, actually, here there's problem at the CentOS, fa CentOS repositories because uh, we can't retrieve a uh, repo MD file. So no repo data, no repo sync. But I'll try with another one. And also, you can, if you don't want to rely on satellite sync uh, on importing content from RHN hosted, 
or, or from other spacewalk slash satellite slash social manager instances or and uh, you don't want also to rely on some repositories uh, let's say you, you have just two packages uh, you want to get you want to get them into spacewalk and you don't want to create repo for that you can use a tool named rich and push uh, which just which just takes a package and pushes it into some of some channel you specify so i'll show you So let's say I have some package called space CMD here and I want to push it into my channels. So what I will do, I, I will create extra channel for you. Called shark channel because sharks are cool, cool animals. I've created some channel uh, which I can uh, use for my clients to be subscribed in. And now I just shark and specify the. Okay, oh my. And now if I look into packages in this channel, there's this package. And you, you can actually combine, uh, for example, space for reposing uh, to and reach and push uh, to create one channel which uh, took uh, packages from some repository. Also, you can have multiple repositories assigned to one channel. So if I could, I can create a channel called CentOS All. Assign all the CentOS repositories and All the CentOS repositories that uh, I've selected, and which would be for, for the CentOS uh, channel with the base channel with the child channels, these all would be synced into one channel. And also, I could push another packages with RH and push into that channel. Yeah, uh, as I said, uh, Spacewalk guides the machines through, the life cycle, through their life cycle, and it also uh, guides the software uh, through, through its life cycle. So uh, it's quite usual to, to have some uh, development environment, uh, QA testing environment, and production environment. Uh, so. Uh, this is supported in Spacewalk, especially uh, with a tool called Spacewalk Manage Channel Lifecycle, which you can use to promote uh, your channels from dev environment to QA environment and from QA to prod. Okay. Uh, we have all the functionality uh, I've sh uh, I have shown you in web UI, like scheduling packages, uh, running arbitrary scripts, with, which I will show later, uh, is also available via XML RPC API. Uh, we have around 
700 API calls available. So uh, the, the scope of uh, API coverage is uh, really big, and uh, I'd say 99% of the of the web UI functionality is covered by uh, by the XML RPC API. And uh, actually, you can find a lot of scripts uh, based on the Spacewalk API on the internet. Uh, which can somehow ease you uh, the spacewalk, uh, your spacewalk daily workflow. Uh, that, that's one of the advantage of community we, we have with spacewalk. Uh, also, we also have command line wrapper uh, called SpaceCMD, uh, which uh, serves or uh, which uh, simplifies uh, usage of the API because in some cases you, let's say you want to install package, uh, you have to uh, execute multiple simple API calls. Uh, let's say I want to install package, yeah? Uh, the, then the sequence of the API calls would be, yeah, login into Spacewalk, uh, find the package ID of the package I want to install, then schedule the package installation. But in SpaceCMD, it's just uh, there's for, for the package installation, there's function uh, uh, which just takes the uh, host name of the server and package name. That, uh, that's all. I've created a small example script which uh, just lists users on my Spacewalk server. Yeah, actually, I'm showing you my super secret password. Uh, yeah, then it's. Shit, I have that one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not so secret. Uh, yeah, the, the API is also available from Perl, Ruby. Uh, so I have some uh, function uh, called list users, which I call, and then I will just print users. Yeah, I, I have free free users admin, shark, and some read-only user. Uh, the re actually, we've introduced some uh, read-only API user feature uh, like a year ago, uh, which allows you to create special kind of users uh, which uh, are only entitled to uh, call uh, some subset of the uh, public API calls. Uh, and uh, this, this subset of the API calls is, they are just uh, function, functions that uh, serve, serve you to uh, get in, retrieve some in information and you cannot co call uh, inform some API calls which modify stuff. So, uh, uh, I will show you the usage, also the usage of Space CMD. Uh, I I'm running actually what I'm running Space CMD on my client machine, so it's not. Uh, you don't have to uh, execute the API scripts or, or sp space CMD from the server itself. Okay. Yeah. It has cached credentials. Yeah. Remove. 
I will I, I will remove uh, the shell and schedule the installation from Space CMD. System install package. And you see I need just specify system or set of systems. Uh, I want the I want to install package and the package. So client I, I didn't have to specify a uh, full uh, epoch version release uh, architecture of the package. Uh, you, you can specify it, but in case uh, I have not, uh, it takes the latest pack package version scheduled. The shell is not installed and Actually, we, we can see that I have scheduled package installation, so if I run the RH and check once again, so it, it is here again. So, other than that, what else ca I can do with Spacefolk? So, I will subscribe my client also to RH and Tools channel so I can install some additional packages needed for needed for uh, remote command execution. I will allow remote command execution and now I can schedule remote command as any user because uh, with spacewalk you have basically root access to, to those machines and uh, actually if someone hacks into your spacewalk it's bad for you you should have, uh, because uh, it allows you allows the attacker to uh, take full control of the your environment. Because uh, we are working as a root. So let's say date, and I will just call date and uh, save it into into some file to to show you that. It's working. And yeah, I could have cheated, but I would have to be very, very precise in that kind of cheat. Also, I spoke a bit about uh, configuration and deployment of, of configuration files. Uh, for configuration files, we have similar things for, as for packages. We have configuration channels, which you can subscribe clients to. So I've created some CF config channel, which has two files in it. One is just some, some test file and one is uh, httpd.conf. Yeah, and I've specified the file name bet. It should be httpd.conf and not slash conf. But here's whole content of my httpd.conf. Oh, 
Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not yet subscribed to, to configuration channel, so uh, I need to be subscribed to, to that configuration channel. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it, and also I will show you quite useful feature called System Set Manager, uh, which... Question? No. Uh, okay. so I may yeah. You, you using the API, you can you can schedule remote commands, but it, it's not from command line. Okay, so you, you need to use API. So yeah. Uh, may, maybe there there's functionality in Space CMD, uh, which allows you to to run it also from Space CMD, but Space CMD is uh, a thing which was fully written by community, so uh, I do not, do not have much knowledge about space CMD. Okay, and can you restrict uh, the execution of Amazon or destination server to be executed like uh, just one user, so that it will not get uh, reviewed notice? Yeah, you, you, you can change the, change the user. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, now back to the topic. Uh, I was speaking about System Set Manager, which is quite useful and powerful feature because it allows you to uh, execute operations with multiple clients. And by multiple clients, I'm, I mean hundreds of clients, let's say. Now, I have, uh, I've selected all of my registered servers and I will subscribe them both to, to my configuration channel and I will, yeah, I have not completed, sorry. Yeah, now both should be subscribed to configuration channel. So I can use System Set Manager to deploy deploy the uh, root slash test file into on both systems. Uh, okay. Uh, there's no root slash test file, so I'm not cheating. And now there's there's the file. It's very simple contents. Uh, we have a couple of other utilities uh, for available for Spacewalk. Uh, one of them uh, is, for example, Spacewalk reports, uh, which can be quite useful for a auditing purposes, as you can get uh, various information about all of your uh, systems managed in Spacewalk. couple of other utilities uh, in a package called Spacewalk Utils. Uh, for example, we have a utility called Spacewalk Command Channels, uh, which basically is used for uh, setup of uh, channels and uh, their appropriate repositories. Uh, so you can just call Spacewalk Reposing and get your packages. Actually, this is what I did uh, when I was creating my CentOS 6 channel. Uh,
Okay, I've just uh, I've just run one simple command and it prepared uh, the CentOS channels for for me with all the uh, extra child channels and uh, all the repositories. Uh, all repositories uh, with their uh, associated to appropriate channel, as, as you saw when I was showing you. Uh, the channel thing. Uh, well, there's a way how to contribute to Spacewalk. Let's say you are Debian enthusiast and you want Spacewalk to support Debian. Uh, we are on GitHub for past two years. Uh, we, over these past two years, we had uh, 347 pull requests from the community, not from internal uh, developers in, at Red Hat. So this means one pull request every two and a half day, which is quite quite nice number, at least for me. Uh, for the technical part, uh, we are still <coughs> supporting Oracle, although PostgreSQL is main main database in Spacewalk or preferred database in Spacewalk as you can use, uh, em use it as embedded. A uh, large portion of our code is Java code, which is run in Tomcat. And uh, the other big part of our code is uh, Python code, which is run in mod, w mod underscore w WSGI. Uh, here are links for the documentation. Uh, the central point of documentation is most likely Spacewalk Wiki, uh, which, is, which can be found at Fedora Hosted. Uh, there's also spacewalk.redhead.com page and a community mailing list, uh, spacewalk list at, .red, at redhead.com, uh, which is quite busy and uh, you can find a lot of assistance on that mailing list. I'd like to thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions? Yeah? Uh, is Facebook only push-based or does it preserve the state? For example, a local administrator changes something and will the changes pushed by Facebook be persistent and will it try to override those changes? Uh, you mean like for, uh, let's say, configuration files? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, in that case, uh, you can either schedule a uh, diff between uh, what's managed uh, at Spacewalk and what's managed locally, but uh, it won't try to overwrite the local changes unless you tell the Spacewalk to override the local changes. Yeah? Is managing workstations a supported workload? So, say, is that something that is supposed to be done? Yeah, you can do it definitely. Okay. Yeah? No. Uh, we'd like to. Give me a week and supply of beer and I'll do it. <laughs> yeah?
Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, Spacefork offers a bit more than uh, just configuration management. And at the time uh, the Spacefork was developed, there, there was no puppet, there was no chef. And unfortunately, we didn't have enough time and resources to uh, somehow integrate with this. Yeah, that, that's not actually the, the reason why you should, you should use it for configuration management, but at least I've enlightened you why it's not there yet. Yeah? XML RPC. Okay. And I have a scarf for you. Second question. <laughs> Whoever has second question will get a scarf. Okay, thanks. Not you, Dimi. You need to ask one more balance. No stupid questions, please. He, he's, he's our QE and he's just teasing me. Yeah, uh, we actually, Spacewalk has a proxy, so... I mean uh, something like uh, if I'm uh, pushing to the client some uh, update and uh, yeah. the main server will go down and uh, let's uh, say uh, I will have failover, it could be configured to be stable, that way it will take over the session and Yeah, that's a tricky question. <laughs> okay, Todd. So we have a Red Hat supported uh, knowledge base article specifically on uh, failover and HA. It's used pretty extensively. Yeah, this is a hail availability. It's uh, on, a, uh, on a platform level, but uh, I'm asking for an application level. As uh, HA, uh, you are still running uh, the same application, but uh, you are running. Not on the application level.
Any other questions? So, so you're going to implement Debian? <laughs> no volunteers? <laughs> so thank you for attention. Jsem, neru, jsem nerozchodil. A já, já, jsem mu, já jsem mu včera zkoušel na, na jiné mašině a osad úplně v pohodě. Není zač? No, je stráda. A dostal se na rady? Kde? Tak jo. Já jsem říkal, že to dá, že se půjde že se zvatla. Aha, jo, jo, Super, aspoň, že to bylo. Tak ale ty si dáš taky na, na jedno a pak se tady zaskočit. Já děláš na tom už kolik, jak dlouho? No, to Jo. Jo. A dělá, děláte si nějaký vlastní, nebo to s něčím něco integrujete?
Já to tady nechám.